All right, we're at the beginning of a new month and you know what that means. It's time for our Airdrie real estate market update for October, 2023. My name is Brad Walker, your local Airdrie realtor. Let's get into the update. Well, we saw some things change this month. Some trends stayed the same. If you watch any amount of the news, you've probably seen a huge variety of the prices are exploding or the market is crashing. But keep in mind, those are all over the place and oftentimes they're all about Canada or at best maybe about Calgary, but they're all very general. On these updates, I'm only looking at what we're seeing at right now in Airdrie, Alberta. And as always, we'll start with the market overview and then move into the different styles of houses, activity on the different price ranges, and we'll discuss what it all means for our current market and where we may be heading from here. So stick around to the end to see where I think our market is headed. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these City of Energy specific updates, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now let's get started. All right, so looking at our Airdrie market graphic here, you'll see that we had 144 sales in September. Now this is down quite a lot from August where we had 204 sales. Now a big portion of this is our seasonality of our market. We're always gonna see less sales in September than in August, but this seemed like an excessive drop that we saw this year, down nearly 30% month to month. So I went back the last 10 years and pulled the average sales drop from August to September to see what that usually is. And what I found was not only was this the biggest sales drop that we've seen from August to September and by quite a large margin as well, but the average was only about 8.5% less sales in September compared to August. So this is definitely showing us an uncharacteristically slow month within a year that has been very busy. Now, of course, this is only one month and we can't call it a trend, but I need to point that out to you because there's definitely something going on there. And now moving on to our new listings where we saw 204 new listings within the month. So this didn't change basically the same amount of new listings as the month before, but unlike sales, it's fairly common to see similar listing numbers in September as compared to August. But with low sales and consistent listing numbers, that brought our inventory in Airdrie back up to over 200 listings to start October with. And this is where we can see why one month of low sales doesn't really mean a whole lot to our market yet, because though that did push us over one month of supply in the city, where we're now at 1.39 month supply, we're still technically within a seller's market, which is anything below two months of supply. And of course you can see on here that our benchmark price overall is right now 8.2% higher than at this time last year. Now on the topic of pricing, let's jump into our four housing styles and chat about what we've been seeing within each of these styles of housing here in Airdrie. And starting off with our detached homes, we did see our prices increase again this month, up another 0.38%, now up to a benchmark price of $605,800. The month to month increases are slowing each month right now, but we still are increasing each month. And I should mention that the detached category is the only style of home that's fairly close to moving into a balanced market right now with a month supply of 1.81 months. There's a reasonable chance that by next month, we could get over two months and we could be talking about a detached homes being in a balanced market. Now that doesn't mean that the price increases are gonna just come to a halt, but they may continue to ease up as we've been seeing the last few months. Now moving on to our semi-detached homes or our duplexes, prices here are up 0.82% over the last month, now at a benchmark price of $474,200. And with a month supply exactly at one month, you can expect increases to continue on these semi-detached homes into the winter. And now onto the townhomes where we saw another price increase of 1.6% this month, now up to a benchmark price of $352,300. And in the townhomes, we're still working with a month supply of below one month right now, just a 0.91 month supply for the townhomes in the city right now. And lastly, the star of 2023 real estate here in Airdrie, and that is the apartment style condos, up another 2.1% this month in their prices, now at a benchmark price of $258,200. And with the biggest price increase, it's no surprise that we have the lowest month supply here in the condo market with just 0.8 month supply 
for those condos in Airdrie right now. So again, this month, prices increased across the board here in the city. That affordable product still is outperforming the detached homes, and that's likely gonna continue for the foreseeable future here in Airdrie. Now, let's move on to our price ranges and see what the activity has been like in each price segment of our market. So starting first with the zero to $300,000 price range, here we saw 18 sales in September and we currently have 17 active listings. So we're seeing just under one month's supply in this range. Now, even though this is still in the extreme seller's market range, it's up quite a lot over last month's 0.38 month supply in this price range. Moving on to $300,000 to $500,000 price range, we saw 55 sales in September and we currently have 43 active listings, which translates to a month's supply of 0.78 months. So it's a bit more of an aggressive seller's market in this range compared to that zero to 300 range. And now onto the 500 to 700,000 range. Here we saw 56 sales in September and we currently have 72 active listings within the range. This gives us a 1.28 months of supply, which is nearly double what we saw last month in this range where we were only at 0.6 months of supply. And moving on to the 700 to $900,000 range. In this range, we had 10 sales within September, but we currently have 51 active listings so our month supply has doubled in this price range as well and puts this range not only out of a seller's market all the way through a balanced market and now in the early stages of a buyer's market in this price range right now and lastly we have our over nine hundred thousand dollar price range where we saw five sales in september and we currently have 19 active listings so here we're just under four months of supply which puts us right in a balanced market for this price range actually performing better than the 700 to 900 price point right now in Airdrie. So overall, our price range trends have stayed very similar in terms of under 700 being busier than over 700, but they're all experiencing some amount of slowdown in September compared to August. All right, so now we've gone through a bunch of the data, but what does it mean for you and our market? Well, we saw a slowdown in September. There's no denying that after we work through our numbers, and it's pretty easy to see that it's not just a typical seasonal slowdown either. So what is it? Is the market shifting? Is it just a one month blip in activity and we're gonna see things pick up here in October? Well, here's what I think, and this is simply my opinion based on my knowledge of the market that we're in. Well, I think we have a couple factors at play here. For one, we know that a lot of our buyers here the last couple of years have been from BC and Ontario. I mean, from this YouTube channel, I've had the opportunity to connect with and work with a lot of people moving to Alberta, which I've been super grateful for those opportunities. But I find at this point of the year, most people from those provinces are telling me that they wanna wait until the new year as they do not want to move in the winter time. And I actually hear this more from out of province buyers than I do from our local buyers here in Airdrie. And our second factor is, is that we have fixed interest rates that just went up again. Now fixed rates going up I find has a greater effect on the actual activity levels in the market versus when the bank changes the variable rate. And up to this point the interest rate hasn't affected us all that much just due to the amount of people moving here but with those fixed rates on the move right at this time of the year when those buyers from out of province are already thinking about waiting i find it's pushing even more of those out of province buyers to hold off until the new year so i think there's a fair chance that we could see lower activity levels through october november and december but if we get to 2024 and especially if fixed rates don't go up much more i think we can expect another early spring market to come our way when the new year flips. Now slowing down doesn't necessarily mean the prices will go down, but the increases might slow a bit month to month like we've been seeing this month. So my advice to you buyers out there, as always, get your pre-approval in place if you're ready to buy. And if I were buying right now, I'd probably be looking to get something purchased before the new year so that I can avoid any of the craziness of the spring market and even the late winter market that we've seen the last couple of years and also possibly take advantage of a short period of slower market activity here in Airdrie right now at the later stages of 2023. And for you sellers right now, there's a little more competition for you out there. Prices are still high, but you need to make sure that you're staging your home well so it shows the best it can and sticks out from the rest, especially as our month's supply gets a little higher. And also make sure to use a realtor that knows how to best connect your home 
to all those buyers that are from out of province. Well, that about does it for this month's market update. I hope you learned something in the video today. If you have any questions about our market or if you're looking to buy or sell either this year or into next year, I'd love to help. My name is Brad Walker, your local Airdrie Realtor, and we'll see you in the next video.